brings me to the third cause of choice overload, which is that today choosing has become a high stakes exercise. We have so much pressure put upon us to know what we want, to express what we want, and to make choices that are in line with what we say we want. As Nicholas Rose wrote in his book, The Powers of Freedom, modern individuals are not merely free to choose, but obliged to be free to understand and enact their lives in terms of choice. They must interpret their past and dream their futures as outcomes of choices made and choices still to be made. Their choices are in their turn, realizations of the attributes of the choosing person, expressions of personality that reflect back on those who have made them. So when we're making a choice, it's actually even more complicated than I described a few minutes ago. It's not just that you're asking yourself, who am I? And given who I am, what do I want? And given what I want, what should I choose? In addition to all of that, I'm also asking myself, if I pick that, what does that say about who I am and what I want? And is that sending the right message about who I am and what I stand for? That's a huge burden 